question. Yeah, we can set the frame now. Okay, how about... Uh, shall I open this? Or no, that will take too much of light. We'll do this. That is okay. Yeah, this should be fine. This is fine. Yeah. Somehow still, I, I, think, I think the light will help. Uh, the light will, the, because it's 60 okay. hertz electricity, it will okay. start flickering. Okay. Namaskaram. I can't see the comments there. One second, guys. I'll check your comments. Please let us know in chat if you are uh, you, you can hear the audio clearly. Yes, we can. Okay, wonderful. Namaskaram, namaskaram everyone. So, here is the chat. They okay. can see the... Okay. Oh, you are checking on your phone. Yeah, yeah. Namaskaram, Shubhodayam. Welcome, welcome. Himanshu ji and Kalpana ji, Bhupendra ji. Audio is good. Cool. Thank you. Good morning, Shubhodayam. Yes, it is 10.30. So, Shubhodayam, Sarvebhya, Namo Namaha. Uh, Namaste Sarve Bhya. Today we have on the live stream Nityanand Mishra ji. Thank you so much for inviting me here, Mahadeva, and thank you so much for being with us this morning. Anu, good evening, It's my pleasure. As you know, we had Nityanand ji on our channel a couple of videos ago, and uh, you, some of you might already have an introduction to his body of work. He has so far com composed, compiled ten brilliant, brilliant books. And we went through some of them in the last video. In today's live stream, I thought we'll have a live book reading session and some introduction to some of his books that we have right here in front of us. We'll look at some of the insights on what Estuti is. We'll look at what the uh, uh, how a Sanskrit student can approach learning Sanskrit using some of the content in his book. Because when I opened the books, I found them to be extremely effective tools for a Sanskrit student to pour into, improve one's vocabulary and and to gain skills from that. So we'll hear more of it from him. Firstly, thank you so much, Mahodaya. Um, so where, where do you want to start? So the last time we want, uh, I asked him, what is a good book for a student to pick up? He suggested Om Mala. So we'll be going through Om Mala first. Let's go through what this Om Mala is. Uh, what students can find in it. It is a very interesting read because it is a com combination of both interpretation of sounds and also Sanskrit etymologies itself and so many different versions of them. <clears throat> then we'll go to Ramaraksha Stotram. Ramaraksha Subodhini is this recent, the most latest Naveena book Tamam of his, Pustakam. Naveena Tamam Pustakam. Bahu Sundaram uh, Pustakam. Uh, mama Pratihi Agata. <coughs> so, uh, uh, so, we'll read this, we'll go through the contents of this book, Ramaraksha Subodhini, and then read the contents of it. And then Mahode also suggested that we chant the shlokas of Ramaraksha Stotram together. So, let's see how that goes. Meanwhile, if you have any questions, I'll keep uh, checking the comment section occasionally. So, when we have, uh, when we ask for questions, if you type it in chat, we'll know how it is going. So, yes, Mahode, please. So, the first book, Om Mala, please give us an introduction of this. Uh, yes, so in the order of uh, writing, this was my second book. Mm -hmm. uh, and I often wondered, like, Om is is a word, it's just a word, mm -hmm. but it's, uh, it's a notion in itself. Mm -hmm. uh, as uh, Patanjali says in the Yoga Sutra, Tasya Vachaka Pranava. So, Ishwarasya Vachaka Pranava. Pranava mm -hmm. Ityukte Omkara. Mm -hmm. Om is the name of Ishwara. Mm -hmm. Vachaka. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in the Indic tradition, you have uh, Om as a concept in the Sanatana Dharma, in Jainism, mm -hmm. in Buddhism, and in, in the Sikhs, they have Ikonkara. Mm -hmm. You can say that <coughs> all Indic faiths 
hold ohm in great esteem and right. one can even say they are all ohm derived of phased fields mm. that's common mm. so uh, what is the meaning of ohm mm. why did one seed sound mm. uh, why is one seed sound regarded so respectfully by so many traditions right there must be something in it and so mm. i i decided to read through the interpretations of om the names mm. of om like mm. pranava is mm. the name of om mm. why is om called pranava mm. why is it called omkara and mm. there is an om sahasranama is it oh wow yes. okay i did so i have a book uh, behind me is a library and there is a book uh, pranava kalpa okay there there is a omkara sahasranama stotra interesting yes so in this book uh, there is no not thousand names but i have i chose 84 names of om right Uh, chatur ashiti namani mm. and i made it like a mala mm. so each meaning or group of meanings is mm. presented as a bead mm. and there are 109 beads mm. including the sumeru right right so i i went through the index and i read a little bit of it and right. you mentioned that you took references from diverse traditions of yes. of pursuits like yes. from ayurveda to from even the uh, raghuvamsha so kavya natakas from uh, yoga works uh-huh. from tantra works right. from upanishads right from the ramayana from the mahabharata uh-huh. and uh, so many other works have been uh, so they find the mention and and the praise of om in yes. all of these texts across or or interpretations different interpretations for example mm-hmm. let's say uh, yes. this in uh, atharva shira upanishad in page 157 of yes. uh, om mala so uh, the atharva shira upanishad says that uh, it lists a range of names of om mm-hmm. and uh, uh, it says one of the names of om is sarva vyapi okay sarva vyapi i'm mm-hmm. sorry and the same is mentioned in uh, the yogi yajna valkya smriti mm. so Nagama Kosha is a lexicon. Mhm. It lists sarva vyapi as a name of om. Mhm. And uh, why? Because sarva means everything mm. and vyapi means pervading that which pervades. Mm. Uh so that's why even om is called akshara, mm. ashu vyapto. Mhm. It's ashnoti. Oi, oh. it's akshara. Mhm. Uh it's also called ekakshara. Mhm. So I've explained why it mm. is called sarva vyapi. Mhm. Um uh, similarly there is a name in the vishnu sahasranam which is vyapi hmm so something which pervades something which pervades time and space time hmm. space and matter so he does split it as v plus ap vyapt karna bharna right dhatu se nishpann hai right isi dhatu se vishnu sahasranam ke vyas aur vyapi naam utpann hai vyapt aur vyapi right uh, is vyasa also from no 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 it's no. not no. vyasa is not vyasa and samasa have the same root really so vyas asa. means expansion means and samasa means contraction that's why oh, samasa oh, like raj purusha rajnya purusha raj purusha so the words are often used uh, uh, together hmm. samasa and vyas samasa and vyas yeah. right so sometimes like sankocha vyakocha yes, yes. samasa tah vakshyami i'll say in brief brief vyasa tah vakshyami i'll i'll elaborate in detail wonderful right so beautiful such beautiful terminology so right. there is a lot so vyas learn. is vyasanam vyasa samasa is samasanam samasa oh so samasanam means contraction is samasa okay we are, we'll go on this slight tra- tangent but vyasanam is an addiction vyasa. vyasanam uh vyasanam so anekartha hidhatava ha satyam anekartha hidhatava roots have many meanings ha for example the root uh, ram uh-huh. it means to enjoy right. it means to play it also means uh, to experience coital bliss right multiple meanings right similarly every uh, not every root but most roots have multiple meanings and the context determines the meaning hmm. so in the context of vyasa mm-hmm. it's a different meaning hmm. samasanam samasa vyasanam there it's like expansion hmm. in the sense of vyasana hmm. and uh, vyasana again could be a kuvyasana or a sadvyasana okay although usually the meaning is negative hmm. but in that context it is vyasanena tu murkhana nitraya kalahi in that context it is a different meaning ha huh. right interesting 
so can we read out a couple of lines from sure uh, uh, or let english? me let me pick up pranava because it's a, yes. it's an important uh, word a lot of people are named pranava also right right so what does pranava means so pranava the word uh, we, we go to page 59 yes the word pranava it means some somebody or something that is eminently praised hmm. pra the the prefix to, uh, uh, denotes eminence and no is to praise so hmm. i give the meanings eminently hmm. praised the means of praise of worship hmm. Pranava is one of the most popular and the most ancient names of Om. Attested in popular dictionaries, the name is first used in the Shukla Yajur Veda, which ends with the proclamation that Om is Brahman. Mm-hmm. And I gave a reference to a, pre- to a previous section. Mm-hmm. Uh, this name Pranava is used five times in the Chandogya Upanishad, which starts with Om. Mm-hmm. The name is used frequently in both sacred texts, Upanishads, Puranas, Smritis, and secular texts. For example, Panini's grammar, poems, plays, dictionaries. Hmm. Then I come to how the word is derived. The word is derived from pra plus nu. Hmm. Nu is the root. Where the root nu means to praise or to worship, and the prefix pra has a sense of especially or eminently. Hmm. Accordingly, pranava means that which is eminently praised. Hmm. The Chandogya Upanishad states that. one who eminently praises om enters in other words takes refuge in it and mm-hmm. becomes fearless and immortal mm-hmm. so that's the upanishad statement that somebody who eminently praises om mm-hmm. pranauti eminently praises om mm-hmm. uh enters in other words becomes one with om and becomes fearless and immortal mm-hmm. that's the spiritual aspect mm-hmm. the meaning of om pranav therefore is something that is eminently praised mm-hmm. so i say the verb used here for eminent praise is pranauti pranauti which is uh, also from pra nu mm-hmm. so nauti nutam naomi naomi, naomi, mm-hmm. naomi janaka sutavaram right right pranaomi mm-hmm. same same root mm-hmm. om is pranava at is as it is praised generously by the upanishads the smritis the gita and the puranas Uh, with the same etymology another meaning of pranava is the means of praising or worshiping that's another interpretation mm-hmm. not only is om praise it is also used in mantras as a means or a sadhana for praising brahman or mm-hmm. one's ishta deity mm-hmm. so the aitareya brahmana uses the word pranauti four times thrice in the context of pronouncing om with mantras used for praising deities mm-hmm. when om is chanted independently it is a means to praise brahman when it is used as a part of a mantra it is a means to propitiate or worship a deity like shiva vishnu mm-hmm. ganesh rama or durga mm-hmm. om namo shivaya their om is the means to praise shiva ha huh. this reminds me one in one of those ask me anything question somebody had asked why everything all our mantra start with that om sound so pranauti pra, so yes. that visheshana so uh, as uh, kalidas says all vedic mantra start with om mm-hmm. So Kalidas says, "Asin mahik shita madhya pranavas chanda samiva." Hmm. So he, Vaivasvato manur nama. Right. right. He's, he's describing Vaivasvato manu, the king, and he's saying uh, he was the first king. Hmm. Asin mahik shita madhya, hmm. sir mahik shita madhya asit. Hmm. Katham, hmm. yatha chanda sam pranava, pranavas chanda samiva. Hmm. Like pranava is the first of every Vedic mantra. Right. right. In a similar fashion, manu Vaivasvato was the first of king. what was in which this is raghuvamsha 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 so uh, here uh, his upama is hmm. vaivasvato manu was the first among kings like pranava. vaivasvato manur nama mananiyo manishina oh, okay asin mahikshita madhya uh-huh. pranavas chanda sami so he was the first among kings mahikshit is hmm. a king hmm. mahi is prithvi and hmm. kshit so mahikshit mahikshita Uh, shit is the root Shiti i think also, which means shiti uh, is uh, the uh, earth yeah. i think shit is shit is to protect i think uh, i don't remember exactly mm-hmm. so mahikshit is a king mahikshita madhya asit adya adau bhava atya mm-hmm. pranavas chanda sami mm-hmm. so that is the upama you say upama kalidasa <laughs> right. there is nobody like kalidasa in giving an upama or a simile mm-hmm. and so asin mahikshita madhya pranavas chanda sami so pranava is used in the beginning of every vedic mantra so then and this is the 30th interpretation of yes pranava uh, so the use of om for worshiping shiva has been especially noted the linga purana states that shiva is to be worshiped on top of the linga using pranava alone 
In the Shiva Gita of the Padma Purana, Shiva says, There does not exist a greater devotee of mine than one who eminently worships me with pranava after putting on ash or bhasma. Hmm. Shiva further says, One who regularly worships me with Om along with offering sacred grass, will believes or mountain flowers is dear to me. Hmm. So here in this small section, uh, we have gleaned uh, statements, interpretations wow. and essence from the Chandogya Upanishad, mm -hmm. uh, the Aitareya Brahmana, right. uh, the Shiva Purana, yeah. the, Shiva Ling, Gita, the Ling, Purana. Sorry, Padma Purana, the, the Linga Purana. Mm -hmm. And then I give the tradition, this is Purana, dictionaries, commentaries, etymology, mm -hmm. and then citations from Skanda Purana, Amarakosha. Mm -hmm. And this is and just for one interpretation. Yes, and Shabda Kalpadma. So, Omkara Pranavau Samau, that's mm -hmm. what Amarakosha says. So, Amara Kosh gives a synonym of Omkara as Pranava. Omkara Pranavau Samau. Mm -hmm. Samau means they are the same. Uh, so, uh, similarly, I have consulted many works, and that's why one of this is one of my favorite works because mm. it was uh, a book style like a mala. Mm. And as I design my books myself, every bead is on a spread. So, uh -huh. a verso and a vector. Yes. Yeah. So, when you are reading a section, you don't need to turn a page. Mm. Mm, very interesting. And yeah, the 30th section is in that we just read was in pages 58 and 59. This is in English and English and this is Hindi. I picked up the Hindi version. Um, shall we? So the next one, we'll do. Oh, up to you. Yeah, yeah, we'll do one where. Uh, let Let's start with the. Let's do the hundredth one. No, there okay. are 84 of them. You see, 84 names, 109 ah. beads. Okay. I I like the 109th one, which is a Sumeru. Oh, okay. So, this is 19 meanings of Om as per the Paninian grammar tradition. Oh, And why 19 meanings? Because as per the grammar tradition, the word Om comes from the root Av. Okay. Very interestingly, Av is the root in Sanskrit with the maximum number of meanings in the Panini Adhatu Is it? 19. So, the word Om, mm -hmm. the most important word in the Vedic and uh, Laukika Sanskrit text is derived from the most potent root, mm. such a such a divine concept Ava as you said. Ava. Ava is the one that which denotes the word Ava has, uh, Ava is a prefix, uh -huh. which is uh, Avagati, right. but there is a root of root of okay. Avati, uh -huh. Avati, oh. he protects. Avatama, Avatama. But Av has 19 meanings in the Dhatu part. Mm -hmm. And uh, what are those 19 meanings? So, Panini Dhatu part says Av Rakshana Gati Kanti Preeti Triptya Vagama Pravesha Shravana Swamyartha Yachana Kriye Cha Deeptya Vaptya Lingana Himsadana Bhaga Vridhishu. 19. Mm. Rakshana to protect. Mm. Gati to move. Mm. Kanti to like. Mm. Preeti, uh, to love. Mm -hmm. Tripti, to be satisfied. Avagama, to know or to understand. Mm -hmm. Pravesha, to enter or to pervade. Mm -hmm. Shravana, to listen. Uh, Rakshana, Gati, Kanti, Preeti, Tripti, Avagama, Pravesha, Shravana. Swamyartha, Yachan. Swam, Swamyartha means to, to be the master, to be the ruler. Mm -hmm. Yachana, to entreat. Kriya, to do. Mm -hmm. Ichha, to wish. Swamyartha Yachana Kriyecha, then Deepti Avaptya Lingana Himsa Dana Bhagavadishu. Deepti Deepti to be to be radiant. Avapti to obtain. Alingana to embrace. Himsa to destroy. Yes. So something that destroys your miseries. Right. Like Sharva is the name of Shiva. Sharva means a destroyer. Right. Destroyer of what? Destroyer of our miseries. Har means to steal or to mm. take away, but mm. Hari or Har is who takes away our pains, mm. our misfortunes. Mm. So, Deepte Vyapte Alingana Himsa Dana Bhaga Vridhishu. Mm. Adana Bhaga Vridhishu. So, Adana is to receive, Bhaga is to divide, mm. and Vridhi is to grow. Mm. I am sorry for this disruption. No worries, I think it should get be getting filtered out, uh, but I am not completely sure. But yeah, this is gone. It takes a couple of seconds. <laughs> there it is. Uh, uh, somebody will have to attend the door. Uh, oh, is it? Yes. 
let me go check let me do it yeah. so in the meantime let me try my hand sure. at hindi sure. <laughs> reading the same meanings so like mode said the our dhatu this i did not know that yeah i i heard the words a couple of times but the most import, the most common understanding of our is as the our prefix but our dhatu has all these meanings in hindi the translations in hindi go as follows the 19 meanings of the our dhatu which have been translated into the hindi version of om mala rakshaka rakshak satat gatiman kantiman prem karne wala tript sarvagnya avaganta vyapak ya sarvavyapi shrota ya sunne wala swami yachak karta ichchuk deept ya deepti yukt prapt karta prapt karta alingan karne wala bhava bandhan ka nash karne wala aadata ya grahan karta apne ko anek mein vibhajit karne wala और सतत वृद्धिमान ये उन्नीस अलग अलग अर्थ है अव धातु के अव धातु के अर्थों से ओम का अर्थ उन्नीस अर्थ निकलता है क्या बात है और ये है और यहाँ सूत्र भी दिया है एक सौ नौ सुमेरु 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 मन का सुमेरु बीड विच इज बाई आई के आई प्रिजर्व द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट मीनिंग यू नाइनटीन मीनिंग एंड वन नॉट नाइन्थ Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so now I've given the derivation also. So yeah. av is the root, huh. and then it's the unadi suffix is uh, man. So avatesh tilopascha is the sutra. Hmm. Gets the man suffix, and then the sutra in ashtadhyayi jwara twara shrivyavi mava mupadhaya ascha hmm. changes av into u, and then sarvadhatu kardhatu koyo the guna changes u. o into o and that's why we get o very interesting and then i've elaborated on these 19 meanings yeah. um so once again this is a book as analysis. much as it is a book for beginners it's also a book for scholars to go through what the pananinian derivation was how our becomes o through all these suffixes yes. so i i believe any work uh, is successful only if is beneficial to everybody mm. for the lay person also and mm. for the scholars also so mm. a balance has to be sought hmm. as uh, i'm i'm very fond of avadhi also hmm. and go swami tulsidas says in uh, the ramacharita manas kirati bhaniti bhuti bhali soi sur sari sam sab kar hit hoi so that fame hmm. that kirti. speech hmm. kirti bhaniti that speech hmm. and bhuti that prosperity hmm. only that fame that speech and that prosperity Bhala. is good which benefits everybody like the river ganga wow so just like the river ganga mm-hmm. uh, birds can drink water mm-hmm. animals can drink water mm-hmm. every human can drink water mm-hmm. and it's life giver to everybody mm-hmm. not just one person or uh, uh, one section of people mm-hmm. similarly uh, a speech or a work of literature mm-hmm. is good only if it benefits everybody so Wonderful. there has to be something for the lay person there has to be something for scholar and that's an ideal i strive to achieve mm-hmm. i'm not saying okay. i yeah, achieved it, it but has, no no i i definitely feel that for for the lay person there should be something to pique his curiosity mm-hmm. to pique his interest so that the person can then read for the works mm-hmm. and for the scholars there should be something new to learn mm-hmm. uh, to enrich their learning mm-hmm. wonderful thank you so much for this A, a glimpse into what om mala is and and the interpretations that it offers and what the who the ideal readers are which is everybody so i i mean this has now become my favorite work too <laughs> that um, so this is om mala so you can this is available in both hindi and in english so you can check that out so let's move towards rama raksha subodhini the the newest the <laughs> latest work and i just the just the cover judging the book by its cover it's so beautiful so beautifully done this is the same person who did that yes, in this yes, painting yes, yes. also kata ka sanchar okay yes. such a skilled artist so the, tell us about the contents the overview of contents of right. this book mode so uh, this book has four sections mm-hmm. the first section is a sanskrit commentary okay uh, each of them have a name kata, right? hanuman modini um, um, hanuman modini mm-hmm. sharadanandini mm-hmm. राष्ट्रतोषिणी 
రాష్ట్ర రంజిని అండ్ విశ్వతోషిణి ఫోర్ సెక్షన్ ఎస్ సో హనుమన్ మోదిని ఎస్ టు డిలైట్ హనుమాన్ ఓకే అండ్ దట్స్ అ సంస్కృత కామెంట్రీ సో వై బికాస్ హనుమాన్ ఈస్ ద ఎపిటమీ ఆఫ్ నాలెడ్జ్ he is learned on all the vedas and he yeah. speaks sanskrit which is praised by shri rama in the ramayana yes so uh, to delight jnani naam agraganyam hmm. the sanskrit commentary uh-huh. the second is a sama vritta sama sankhyaka padya anuvada hmm. so uh, poetic translation in the same meter hmm. and in the same number of verses Wow. of the ram raksha sutra into hindi hmm. so it can be sung in the same uh, melodies same and the same, same uh, rhythm hmm. as the original verse for example uh, let's take the last one dhyaye da janubahum can we start with that dhyaye da janubahum dhrita sharadharusham baddha padmasanastham peetam vaso vasanam నవకమలదలస్పర్ధినేత్రం ప్రసన్నం వామాంకారూఢసీతా ముఖకమలమిలల్లోచనం నీరదాభం నానాలంకారదీప్తం దధతమురుజటా మండలం రామచంద్రం సో this is a complex work to have it the is same <laughs> samavritta sama sragdhara meter right the famous sragdhara meter with uh, 21 syllables right. in every quarter uh-huh. so the hindi dhyave ajanu bahu sharadhanushadhare baddha padmasanastha pile vastra pradhare navakaj dalasantulya netra prasanna వామక్రోఢస్థీతా ముఖకమలమిలే చక్షుజాకే ఘనాభ నానా సంస్కారశోభీ ధృతవిపులజటా జూటచంద్రాభరామ సో దిస్ ఇస్ అ హిందీ ట్రాన్స్లేషన్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ ఇట్స్ హెవీ ఆన్ హెవీ ఆన్ సంస్కృత్ ఇట్స్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ బికాస్ బికాస్ we given the context it has to be and also the restriction right. of the meter right exactly that's why i picked it i want for example i want to do the first 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 yes please charitam raghunathasya shatakoti pravistaram ekaikam aksharam pumsam mahapatakanashanam so anushtup gives you more freedom yes uh, <laughs> so raghunath charitron ka vistar sau karod hai ప్రత్యేకాక్షర లోకే మహాపాతక కాటతాఫుల్ దట్ ఐ మీన్ ఐ ఐ నోటిస్ దట్ ఈవెన్ ద లొకేషన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఈచ్ పర్టికులర్ ఇండివిజువల్ మీనింగ్ ఈస్ ఇన్ ద సేమ్ ప్లేస్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ దట్ ద ఫస్ట్ ద ఫస్ట్ హాఫ్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫస్ట్ పాద ఇస్ ఇన్ దిమిలర్ లోకేషన్ ధ్యాత్వా నీలోత్పలశ్యామం రామం రాజీవలోచనం సో ధ్యాకే నీలోత్పలశ్యామ రామ రాజీవ నేత్ర కో సో యూ హ్యావ్ టు ఫిట్ ద విభక్తి శారదానందిని బికాస్ ఇట్స్ పోయటిక్ సో ఇట్స్ ఫర్ ద డిలైట్ ఆఫ్ సరస్వతి థర్డ్ పార్ట్ ఇస్ రాష్ట్ర రంజిని అండ్ దాట్స్ ద కామెంట్రీ ఇన్ హిందీ సో డిలైటింగ్ ద పీపుల్ ఆఫ్ ద కంట్రీ అండ్ ద ఫోర్త్ ఇస్ విశ్వతోషిణి అగైన్ సాటిస్ఫైంగ్ ద పీపుల్ ఆఫ్ ద వర్ల్డ్ బికాస్ ఇంగ్లీష్ ఇస్ Yeah, but spoken uh, nice. widely across the world. So just recapping all the sections, the four sections, it is Hanuman Modini, Shardhanandini, uh, Rashtra Ranjani, and Rashtra Ranjani, and Vishwatoshi. Vishwatoshi. Now, uh, Atha Vyasataha Vakshyami. Astu. Hanuman Modini Ittyukte, Hanumantam Modayetum Shilamasya Iti. Hmm. అత్ర సుప్యజాతౌడిస్తాచీల్యూమన్ మోదిని 
So Hanuman Modini is I don't know if everybody got that distinction. Nature is to delight distinction Hanuman. Between, uh, the one who is capable of delighting, the one who's the nature one who's itself nature, delights. Nature, who's, who's by nature. For example, the difference between the words Isha and Ishana. Hmm. So Isha, both are names of Shiva. Hmm. Isha means a ruler. Hmm. Ishte, Ishte it. Itisha. Ishte Itisha. Hmm. And Ishana hmm. is somebody who is a natural ruler, a born ruler. Hmm. Ishte Tachila Ishana. Hmm. Hmm. So Chanash suffix is in the sense of Tachila. And these are, every suffix has a different shade of meaning hmm. from the same root. Hmm. So, uh, for example, Shravya and Shravya. Hmm. Shravya is something that is worth listening to. Hmm. Shravya is something that is certainly worth listening to. <laughs> or Avashyake. Hmm. That's a, a sutra in uh, Panini's grammar. Hmm. So, that's the beauty that a minor change of sound hmm. or a different suffix creates a slightly different change in meaning the yes. of the word. Right. So that's Hanuman Modini Sharda Nandini. That is why guys I keep repeating make <laughs> sure that your Raswas are Raswas and Dirghas are Dirghas and Alpa Pranas and Mahapranas. <laughs> uh, but what otherwise is, uh, otherwise uh, it becomes a case of uh, Swajana Mahabhut. Swajano Swajano Swajana Swajano Mahabhut. Sakrit Shakrit. Sakala Shakala. Sakrit Shakrit. Yeah. So, I, I hope the viewers know the meaning. No, no, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I was holding the, this for the later video. <laughs> Yadhyapi yes. bahunadhi she putra tathapi pathavyakaranam uh-huh. Swajana swajano mabhut Sakala shakala Sakrit shakrit <laughs> So, swajana is somebody who is hmm. dear to right. oneself. Right. Swasya jana swajana. Yes. The Hindi word Sajan comes from Sanskrit Swajana. Is it? Yes. Oh, yes. very interesting. Yes. Uh-huh. So you see a uh, lot of Hindi songs. Right? Sajan. Sajana. Uh-huh. Yeah. Sajana comes from Sajana Swajana. Uh-huh. Swajana. Sajana and Sajana both come from Swajana, Sanskrit Swajana. Uh-huh. And Swajana is a, <laughs> so a dog's relative. <laughs> Shwa. <laughs> so the this shloka is in uh, is in emphasizing the importance of studying grammar tathapi patha putra vyakaranam so you need to have you need to study vyakaranam even if you have not you are not like a big scholar or somebody because to avoid this happening of a swajana becoming a swajana sakala, sakala becoming, becoming shakala, shakala. so and sakala is entire shakala right. is a small part is a fragment mm-hmm. and sakrit shakrit <laughs> sakrit is once or instantly immediately and shakrit is vishtha yes or mala yes so, uh, so that I will translate it in a more gory <laughs> <laughs> translation later on, but let us keep it classic. Yes. Right. yes. Huh. So, uh, yes. a slight change in yes. sound yes. can bring that much context and the, it, it is subtle, but it is very uh, important to distinguish between these right. meanings. So, so uh, the importance of a Sanskrit commentary is that it is the, the most uh, effective way to understand a Sanskrit work hmm. because a Sanskrit commentary is like a mathematical proof hmm. akin to not hmm. exactly the same but like a mathematical proof that you derive that anvay and the word hmm. and explain it hmm. and that has to follow the rules of grammar the rules of Chanda Shastra hmm. the, the words has to follow rules of Chanda Shastra but the interpretation has to follow the rules of grammar and also the maxims uh, of Nyaya mm. and so on and it has to be logical, mm. it has to make sense. So why do, why, why do people value Mallinath so much? Mm. Because Mallinath's commentaries are, are uh, windows or means to understand the works of Kalidasa, mm. of Magha. Mm of Bharavi and Shri Harsha. Hmm. A commentary, a Sanskrit commentary opens the mind of the reader to the original text. Hmm. And that is possible only in Sanskrit because hmm. the way you parse the compounds, the way you say 
this is how this compound is derived this is how this is why it means what it means mm-hmm. not only one has to start one, one has to give the meaning but also show how the verse means this mm-hmm. and uh, that is unfortunately not possible in hindi or <laughs> in english. any other language yes. for example if we take the hanuman hanuman modini, modini the first section will have a small glimpse of yes. how that so, goes so for example let's just start with the uh, the verse we just straight चरितम रघुनाथ से शतकोटि प्रविस्तरम एक अक्षर पुंस महापातकनाशन नाउ दिस इज एक्सप्लेन ओवर ऑलमोस्ट टू पेज नाउ व्हाट्स इंपॉर्टेंट इज बिकॉज व्हेन वी चैंट अ स्तोत्र स्तोत्र इज अंट फॉर चैंटिंग व्हेन वी चैंट अ स्तोत्र इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू आइडेंटिफाई विद एवरी वर्ड टू इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट for us to have resonance with every word of the stotra mm-hmm. and so it's important to understand the essence of every word mm-hmm. unlike reading a book like om mala mm-hmm. or some other book mm-hmm. where you need to just understand the concept here mm-hmm. you're becoming one with the stotra or the mm-hmm. chant so mm-hmm. every word so much deeper engagement yes every mm-hmm. word needs to be elucidated it need to mm-hmm. needs to be explained uh, so that there's no there's no doubt about what it means you know the meaning hmm. so charitam what is charitam hmm. so first i give the anvaya hmm. uh, so this is in order of anvaya so raghu raghunath why is ram raghunath hmm. so say raghu swanamakhyata surya vamshiya nata hmm. so what is raghu raghu is a surya vamshiya king famous by his own name swanamakhyata surya vamshiya nata now why is raghu called raghu so i explain oh, okay atha raghu naam vyutpat atha raghu naam vyutpatti ruchyate hmm. langhati dutam gachhati ti laghu shigra gami tyartha satyam langhati dutam gachhati satyam iti laghu shigra gami ityartha laghu reva raghu evam ata eva ramayane bahudha ashruyate laghu vikramau satyam लघु विक्रम राम लक्ष्मण लघु विक्रम शीघ्र गाथ लघुरेव रघु कथम लंघी बंह्योर न लोपश्च इतोणादिक कुर न लोपश्च तत वालमूल लघ्वलंगुलीना वालो रमापद्यत वाच्यम वैकल्पिक रत्वे रघु वार्तिकमस्ति महाभाष्य तत्र तूत्र वार्ति मैं त्र इंगित वैकल्पिक रत्वे रघु अत एव रघुनाम निर्वचन प्रसंग आह कालिदास श्रुत अयमतक तथा परेशा युधिचे युधिचे पार्थिव अवेक्ष धातोर्गमनाथवित चकार नाम्ना रघुमात्र संभव रघुवंशे कालिदासो कि दिलीपो रघुम नाम चकार त्र कालिदासो वक्ति श्रुत आयात अयमत अयमक अयम अर्भक अयम बाल श्रुत अंत यायात श्रुत विद्याया अंत यायात गच्छे तथा परेशा युधिचे पार्थिव तथा युधि युद्ध भूम परेशा शत्रुण अंत यायात इति इति मत्वा इति चिंतवा वा पार्थिव दिलीप धातो कस्य धातो लंग धातो लंघति द्रुत गति अवेक्ष धातोर्गमनाथमर्थवित स अर्थवित अर्थवेत्ता धातो गमनाथम अवेक्ष गमनाथम अवगम्य ज्ञावा आत्मसंभव आत्मपुत्र नाम्ना रघुम चकार इति कालिदासिया उक्ति अनंतर लघी गौ भोजन निवृत्त इति धातोर्गमनाथ कालिदासेन अत्र सूचित तदनतर नाथतीष्टी नाथ स्वामी तदनतर रघुणा नाथ रघुनाथ तदनतर चरित चरित चरित्र नपुंसके भाविक्त सूत्रेण क्त प्रत्यय 
यद्वा चर्यते स्मेति चरितम कृतम भूते कर्मणि कृत एवमेव प्रत्येक पदे प्रत्येक शब्द तस्य व्युत्पत्ति तस्य अर्थ तस्य भाव अनतर संपूर्ण से श्लोक से भाव मैं अत्र टीकाया लिखिता नाम विस्मस्मी इधानी इतपर किंचित अस्माक संभाषण संस्कृत मध्यम बिकॉज द फ द फर्स्ट सेक्शन इज मोस्टली फॉर दोज हू ऑलरेडी हैव ए लॉट ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन टू संस्कृत एंड दोज हू फाइंड अ लॉट ऑफ जॉय इन एक्सप्लोरिंग दिस वील फॉर ऑल द बिगिनर्स वील कम टू द लास्ट पार्ट विच इज विश्व तोषिणी वेर वील वेर इट इज मेट फॉर द लार्जर वर्ल्ड वाइड ऑडियंस हू कैन एंड वेर विच पार्ट इज रिलिज बै एवरीबडी हू हू इज जस्ट गेटिंग इन टू संस्कृत परंतु इधानी अस्मिन् विभागे यद लिखितमस्ति तत्तु अनन्य सामान्यम एव इति वदामि अहम् प्रत्येकस्य पदस्य सूक्ष्मत सूक्ष्मतया एतावत् नाम ए विवरणम् इतः पूर्वं तु कदापि चिन्तितमपि न मया प्रत्येकस्य पदस्य रघु इत्यस्य पदस्य व्युत्पत्ति राम इति पदस्य एवं तद अर्थ रम इति धातोः परन्तु तस्यापि इतोपि विवरणम् अधिकतया दत्तम् इति अहम् मन्ये तदपि एकवारं भवान् राम इति शब्दस्य को अर्थ इति जिज्ञासायां वचमि प्रथमं तु पृष्ठसंख्या पृष्ठसंख्या षोडश प्रथमं तु रमते सर्वेषु इति राम कथं रमते सर्वान्तर्यामितया रमते सर्वेषु इति राम यतो हि राम सर्वान्तर्यामी अत एव सर्वेशाम हृदि रमत सर्वान्तर्यामितया रमते सर्वेश्वति राम अथ व्युत्पत्ति रमो क्रीडायाम इति धातो ज्वलि ति कसन्ते भ्योण ज्वलि ति कसन्ते भ्योण इति विभाषया ण ण प्रत्यये राम इति शब्दो व्युत्पद्यते यथा गुर्जर भाषायाम ते वदन्ति रमेछे क्रीडति रम्वा जाओछु क्रीडार्थम गच्छाम अहम पठन अस्मि गुर्जर भाषा निदानी सोर्थ संस्कृते एव रमु क्रीडायाम इति धातु रमु क्रीडायाम अन्या व्युत्पत्ति यद्वा रमन्ते लोका भक्ता योगिनो वा अस्मिन इति राम यस्मिन लोका रमन्ते यस्मिन योगिनो रमन्ते यस्मिन भक्ता रमन्ते स राम अत्र अस्मादेव धातो हलश्च इत्यधिकरणे घन यतो हि अत्र उच्यते पूर्वत्र तु रमते सर्वेषु इति राम ततः यह रमणं करोति स राम अथोच्यते यस्मिन यस्मिन सर्वे रमन्ते स राम तर्हि कथं तर्हि पाणिनीयस्य सूत्रं वर्तते हलश्च तस्मात् सूत्राद् अधिकरणे घन प्रत्ययो भवति अत एव रमन्ते योगिनो यस्मिन इति राम यथा उपनिषदे उपनिषदि उक्तं रमन्ते योगिनो नन्ते नित्यानन्दे चिदात्मनि इति राम पदेनासौ परम ब्रह्माभिधीयते इति उपनिषद् अनन्तरम् अध्यात्म रामायणे च यस्मिन रमन्ते मुनयो विद्या ज्ञान विप्लवे तम गुरु प्राम रामे प्राह रामे इति अनन्तरम् रमणाद राम इत्यपि इति भविष्यति वक्ष्यामा अत एव इति पदस्य एव विश्लेषणं सर्वम् इतत् सर्वम् राम पदस्य विप्रस्तात्मकं भवति तर्हि एकवारं दर्शयामि राम इत्यस्य एव पदस्य कथं तस्य पदस्य आवगमनं भवेत् इति अत्र दत्तमस्ति पृष्ठद्वये तर्हि सर्वे ये के अपि संस्कृत छात्राः सन्ति ते सर्वे अवश्यं पठेयुः बहु रोचकरं च बहु उपयोगकरी करं च पुस्तकमस्ति एतत् पुस्तकम् इदम् मल्लिनाथाय सूरये समर्पितम् यतो हि तस्यैव शैली मयानुकृता एवम् 
मल्लिनाथ यथा वक्ति इहान वय मुखे नैव सर्व व्याख्या मैं पुनः एक बार इहान वय मुखे नैव सर्व व्याख्या मैं सर्वासु टीकासु यथा किरातार्जुनीय मेघदूते यद्वा नैषधीय चरते मल्लिनाथो वक्ति प्राय प्रायण सर्वासु टीकासु वक्ति इहान वय मुखे नैव सर्व व्याख्या मैं ना मूल लिख्यते किंचिन नानपेक्षित मुच्यते इह अस्मिन् ग्रंथे अस्मिन् कार्य अन्वय मुखे नैव अन्वय अन्वयो मुखम यस्य तदन्वय मुखम तेन अन्वय मुखे नैव अन्वय प्राधान्य नैव सर्व मैं व्याख्या सर्व मैं पाठ्य यद्वा सर्व मैं व्याख्या नामूल लिख्यते किंचित किंचिदपि मूल विहीन न लिख्यते किंचिदपि मूल रहित मूल विहाय न लिख्यते नानपेक्षित मुच्यते किंचित अनपेक्षित नोच्यते किंचित यद न अपेक्षित तन न उच्यते मैं कई न अपेक्षित सुधी भी पाठक पाठक यद्वा रसिक यद्वा विद्वत् यद्वा तार्किक यद्वा दैयायिक यद्वा वैयाकरण यद्वा कवि यद्वा अस्मा रसिक छात्र सो नानपेक्षित उच्यते कनपेक्षित न उच्यते कमूल न लिख्यते इमे सरणीर्मया अनुसृता बहु समीचीन वचनमस्ति मल्लिनाथ से अर्पित अतः तस्म अर्पित पुस्तक इं मम संस्कृत बहु सुंदर बहु शोभन चतदी प्रथम भाग यम उर्मी स्त्रोत्र के कई अनुवाद प्रकाशित हुए हैं तो कोई आए हुए हैं तो मैं भी अभी हिंदी में बोलने वाला हूँ और अभी देखेंगे कि कुछ प्रश्न हैं क्या किसी के आई होप अंटिल नाउ एवरीबडी वॉज एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट वॉज गोइंग ऑन फ्रॉम नाउ ऑन वील इट विल बी अ लिटिल ईजियर फॉर एवरीबडी टू ईजिली अंडरस्टैंड वॉट्स गोइंग ऑन अंटिल नाउ इट वॉज अ लिटिल हैवी ऑन संस्कृत आई आई गेट दैट बट एज ए सेड एट द सीक्वेंस ऑफ चैप्टर्स इन दिस बुक गोज प्रोग्रेसिवली ईजियर द इट्स ईजिएस्ट फॉर Uh, everybody the last section is the easiest for everybody to uh, pick up and read but uh, so you can maybe look at peru's the last section first and then as you want to progress through your journey of sanskrit learning you can come back to the first section and do it the first section is definitely something that you have to pick up page by page maybe even paragraph by paragraph and read it for yourself sharda nandini sharda nandini saraswati ko anandit karne wali is granth ka dusra bhag hai aur राम रक्षा सूत्र के अनेक अनुवाद हुए हैं पद्यानुवाद भी है पद्यानुवाद काव्य में अनुवाद महाराष्ट्र में राम रक्षा सूत्र अत्यंत लोकप्रिय है और मराठी में अनेक पद्यानुवाद हुए हैं समवृत्त पद्यानुवाद की मराठी में अच्छी परंपरा है अच्छा जिस श्लोक में जिस छंद में मूल संस्कृत में है उसी छंद में मराठी अनुवाद सब भगवद गीता का भी किया गया है और ऐसा ही अनुवाद दो अनुवाद हुए हैं मराठी के एक हरिभाव देसाई कृत समवृत्त पद्य अनुवाद है पर समसंख्यक नहीं है वहाँ 
एक अनुष्टुप को दो अनुष्टुप किया है अच्छा चार पांच पांच अनुष्टुपों को दस अनुष्टुप में मराठी में अनुदित किया है तो मेरा यह अनुवाद समवृत्त और समसंख्यक है और छंद के अनुरोध से कहीं कहीं पुरानी हिंदी के शब्दों का प्रयोग विभक्ति चिन्हों का प्रयोग किया गया विनियोग और पुष्पिका को अनुष्टुप में यथा श्री गणेशाय नम इसका अनुवाद क्या है नमस्कार गणेश को <laughs> यह भी अनुष्टुप छंद में अंतिम द्वितीय और चतुर्थ चरण अच्छा। और विनियोग अस्य श्री राम रक्षा स्त्रोत्र मंत्र से बुध कौशिक ऋषि श्री सीता राम चंद्रो देवता अनुष्टुप छंद सीता शक्ति श्रीमान हनुमान की लकम श्री रामचंद्र प्रीत्यर्थे राम रक्षा सूत्र जपे विनियोग इसका भी अनुवाद किया इसका अनुष्टुप में किया अच्छा इस श्री राम रक्षा के स्त्रोत्र मंत्र स्वरूप के क्या बात बुध कौशिक है दृष्टा विश्वामित्र उदार धी देवता राम रक्षा के श्री सीता रामचंद्र है अनुष्ठुप छंद है और शक्ति सीता परेश्वरी क्या बात है कीलक श्री हनुमान है अंजन आनंद वर्धन श्री रामचंद्र तोषार्थ जप में विनियोग है क्या बात है प्रयोग नहीं किया अथ के अनंतर भी रूप है ना अनंतर भी अर्थ है अर्थ अच्छा हाँ। तो अथ का मंगल भी अर्थ है हाँ जी। तो अब का अर्थ को मंगल अर्थ को हाँ, ट्रांसलेट करना अनुवाद तो नारद पुराण में उक्ति आती है ओंकार शब्द पुरा कंठम भित्वा विनिर्यात तस्मा मांगलिका उभव एवं ओंकार शब्द कहाँ है इसका उल्लेख नारद पुराण नारद पुराण ब्राह्मण मुखता पुरा ऐसा कुछ है अच्छा ओंकार चाथ शब्द पहले ब्रह्मा के मुख से कंठम भित्वा विनिर्यात तस्मा मांगलिका उभव अच्छा तो ओम और अथ शब्द ब्रह्मा के कंठ से निकले थे पहले मुख से प्रथम शब्द थे इसलिए दोनों मंगलवाची हैं ऐसा नारद पुराण में वचन आता है इसलिए अथ को मैंने अथ ही रखा क्या तो ऐसे मेरा ये फेवरेट श्लोक है एक आत्त सज्ज धनुषा विश्व स्पृश उसका अनुवाद रथोद्धता संछंद है आत्त सज्ज धनुषा विश्व स्पृशा वक्षया शुगुन शंग संगिन आत्त सज्ज धनु कांड युक्त ले बाण अक्षय ने शंग साथ में क्या बात है रक्षणाय मम राम लक्ष्मणा वग्रता पथ सदैव कच्छता रक्षणार्थ मम राम लक्ष्मण अग्रता नित चले सुमार्ग पे क्या बात है so, so इस इस ये हिंदी प्रिय लोगों के लिए जो ये काव्य प्रिय लोगों के लिए हिंदी प्रिय लोगों के लिए और जो संगीत में इसको गाना चाहते हैं जिनको इसी लय में इसी ताल में कुछ गाना हो तो वे इसको गा सकते हैं सुंदर शारदा नंदिनी जी शारदा नंदिनी तृतीय भाग है राष्ट्र रंजनी और यहाँ पर शब्दशह अनुवाद और गद्य अनुवाद अच्छा हिंदी में स्त्रोत्र का प्रस्तुत है हिंदी में जी का अनुवाद तो जैसे ध्याय दाजानुबाह तो उसको अन्वय के क्रम से शब्दार्थ दिया है अच्छा जो हिंदी में जैसा अन्वय होगा अच्छा तो ध्याय दाजानुबाह को हिंदी में हम कहेंगे आजानुबाह ध्याय हिंदी में क्रम सामान्यतः रहता है कर्ता कर्म क्रिया राम ने रावण को मारा जिसे हम कहते हैं सब्जेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट वर्ब मैं घर जाता हूँ हाँ यह क्रम हिंदी में और प्रमुख भारतीय भाषाओं में रहता है मराठी में गुजराती में तेलुगु में कैसे कहेंगे राम ने रावण को मारा राम उड़ू रावण उड़ी चंपैडो दंपैडो इज दर्ब फॉर्म और राम एक्टिव करता कर्म क्रिया अंग्रेजी में सब्जेक्ट वर्ब ऑब्जेक्ट सत्यम राम किल्ड रावण सत्यम संस्कृत उभय था वक्त पारे हम सत्यम राम रामो रावण अहन सत्यम 
रावणम रामो अहन अहन रामो रावणम अहन रावणम रामिटेशन आर पॉसिबल सत्यम राइट तो अनवय जैसा जिस भाषा में हो तो अंग्रेजी में अनवय हम अलग देंगे और हिंदी में अनवय अलग देंगे सीक्वेंस विल बी डिफरेंट अंग्रेजी में जब अनवय देंगे तो सब्जेक्ट वर्ब ऑब्जेक्ट देंगे हिंदी में अनवय देंगे तो सब्जेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट वर्ब देंगे तो इसीलिए आजानुबाहुम पहले की अब आजानुबाहुम का क्या अर्थ है तो जैसे मैंने कहा स्त्रोत्र पढ़ने वालों को एक एक शब्द समझना आवश्यक है तो पहले एक एक शब्द का अर्थ समझें फिर पूरे श्लोक का अर्थ समझें तो आजानुबाहुम आजानुबाहु को घुटने तक बाहों वाले को और इसको कैसे समझेंगे आ अर्थात तक आ पूर्व पद पूर्व पद अर्थात समास के पहले लगने वाला आ का अर्थ तक जानु अर्थात घुटना और बाहु अर्थात बाह और ये पुमलिंग शब्द का द्वितीय विभक्ति का एक वचन मुझे ये सबसे अच्छा लगता है क्योंकि जो एक एक शब्द को कौन सा शब्द है उसका लिंग क्या है उसकी विभक्ति क्या है उसका वचन क्या है यह आपके सुबंत शब्दों के लिए और तेंगंत शब्दों के लिए कौन सी धातु है उसका कौन सा लकार है उसमें कौन सा पुरुष है और कौन सा वचन है जैसे ध्यायेत तो ध्यायत अंत में दिया है हमने ध्यान करे विधिलिंग लकार प्रथम पुरुष एक वचन ध्यय धातु ऐसा विश्लेषण बहुत उपयोगी है जो संस्कृत सीखना सीखने वालों के लिए और हिंदी सीखने वालों के लिए संस्कृत माध्यम संस्कृत माध्यम से जैसे मैं जैसे मैं तो संस्कृत माध्यम से हिंदी सीखने वालों के लिए उपयोगी है हिंदी माध्यम से संस्कृत सीखने वालों के लिए उपयोगी है और एक इसी प्रकार पूरे स्त्रोत्र में एक एक शब्द का क्या मूल शब्द है क्या विभक्ति वचन है अथवा क्या लकार पुरुष वचन है अव्यय है तो अव्यय उसके घटक क्या है जैसे वामांकारूढ़ सीता मुख कमल मिलोचनम यह एक शब्द है तो पूरा शब्द समझने में कठिनाई होती है पर यदि हम इसको समझे वाम अर्थात बाया अंक अर्थात गोद आरूढ़ अर्थात ऊपर विराजमान आसीन आरूढ़ सीता मुख अर्थात मुह कमल अर्थात कमल का फूल मिलत अर्थात मिलता हुआ लोचन अर्थात नेत्र अब फिर हम समझें बाएं अंक पर बैठी हुई सीता जी के कमल रूपी मुख से जिनके नेत्र मिल रहे हैं ऐसे रामचंद्र को तब सब स्पष्ट हो जाता है साथी स्पष्ट ऐसा होना चाहिए जैसे हम आदर्श में अपना रूप देख रहे हैं आदर्श में अथवा दर्पण में जब हम अपना रूप देखते हैं तो जैसा है वैसा ही दिखता है यदि आदर्श पर धूल पड़ी हो तो हम उसको स्वच्छ कर सकते हैं पहुंच सकते हैं परंतु जो एक दर्पण का धर्म है वैसा धर्म एक अनुवाद अथवा टीका का होना चाहिए जो मूल अर्थ है उसको यथा तथा जस का तस पाठक को परिचित करा क्या बात तो ये हिंदी में राष्ट्र रंजनी है राष्ट्र रंजनी एंड देन फाइनली द द वन व्हिच इज द इजीएस्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड प्रोबेबली फॉर द वर्ल्ड वाइड ऑडियंस विदाउट एनी डिफिकल्टी दैट यू कैन रीड थ्रू योरसेल्फ बट वी विल डू अ क्विक इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ इट सो इज द विश्वतोषिणी विश्वतोषिणी सो हियर आल्सो आई हैव फॉलोड अ वर्ड फॉर वर्ड मिस सेक्शन where each word is uh, explained right it's a similar treatment as similar treatment. in in the order of english uh, the subject order of verb object yes. oh. subject object verb subject verb object uh, subject verb object i'm sorry uh, so uh, for example uh, let's take the first verb charitam raghunathasya yes. shatakoti pravistaram ekaikam aksharam pumsa mahapatakanashanam so here charitam means the acts or the account mm-hmm. this is neuter nominative singular of the word charita raghunathasya mm-hmm. masculine word raghunatha mm-hmm. genitive singular case wow. okay of rama ye sabse samajh mein na angla bhasha mein genitive genitive ki kimit na jaane yes. so genitive is just a word <laughs> Uh, Raghu is an ancestor of Rama, and Nath means Lord or Master. Shatha Koti Pravistaram, having an extent of one billion verses, one billion as in one billion verses. Shatha is one hundred, Koti is one crore or ten million, and Pravistara is extent or expansion. Ekaikam, this is neuter, nominative, singular. Ekaika, each and every. Eka, eka, one. Aksharam is neuter, nominative, singular. Aksharam, syllable. 
and then Mahapataka Nashan. So mm -hmm. then I come to the simple translation. Mm -hmm. The account of Rama, the Lord of Raghu's clan, has an expanse of one billion verses. Mm -hmm. Each and every syllable of this account destroys the most heinous mm -hmm. transgressions of people. Yeah, it's really apt that you have dedicated it to Marinatha Surya. Anapekshitam Naktam, Amulam Naktam. Amulam Naktam, Anapekshitam Naktam. Etat idrisha prayaso maya vihita. So this is the book guys and I was, I got my copy already, I put a post on uh, YouTube and many of you already asked for links and I put that link, I did not put the link because I, uh, I had that Amazon link which was really big but you can find the UPI ID and there is a post on uh, uh, Mr. Ji's uh, Instagram account where you can see how you can get the copy, author signed copy. Yes, still, yes, still yes. Getting them. Yes, you can get an authored certain copy using the UPI payment links on his Instagram post. And I'll use that link, maybe the Instagram posts link in the description of this video. And if you have any questions about what we have gone through now, Sanskrit Madhyameva, uh, Hindi Madhyameva, Sanskrit Madhyameva, Prashtum Shaknu Anti Dani. So let's look at chat. Uh, Shri Puja Ji Pranamam Yudhaya Mahodaya Dani, Bhavan Maharashtra, Amboho Maharashtra, Maharashtra Yavasmi Mumbai Nagare. Um, how to learn you can get this book and get started so is there a particular sequence on how to learn so we just gave you a demo to learn uh, Sanskrit uh, I would recommend start with this book of mine Katha Kasuma Sarabha. okay and to learn the Ram Raksha Stotra I think uh, if you already know some Sanskrit hmm. then start with the Sanskrit commentary hmm. and read it uh, two or three times hmm. Uh, which will help you understand each and every word. Hmm. The if you if you are just beginning to learn Sanskrit, then first read the Hindi or English translation, and hmm. then go to the Sanskrit commentary. Hmm. Skip the parts which the reader does not understand. Hmm. I recommend they skip these parts and then come back to them later, hmm. because it's not everything that will be understood, but something or the other will be understood hmm. uh, in the commentary. So even if uh, in the first reading, if not everything is uh, understood, but if you can understand say 20-30% of it, then the second reading it will improve. Hmm. I would definitely recommend that you take this up and use this as a medium of learning because it is so complete in its uh, treatment. One thing that I don't know if I can announce this that you can do is, he also has Twitter accounts and he takes keeps taking questions <laughs> on Instagram, Twitter I'm, and YouTube. I'm not very section. active on Twitter these days because okay. I'm focusing on uh, writing and also focusing on more videos. <laughs> okay. So, if, if enough people form a group and a study group using Ramaraksha Subodhini, maybe you can get in touch with him for any questions, clarifications. So, make sure that you get the book, get the book for sure guys. It doesn't cost much. It's a brilliant, brilliant book and it's a must have for everybody. You can gift it to others also if um, there, you know anybody who's interested and is pursuing Sanskrit learning. Um, other questions? Thank you for the super chat, uh, Anderson. It was a pleasure meeting you yesterday. Likewise, Rahul ji. Um, any questions, you can post it now, guys, in the bottom. I see a lot of gratitude posts. Thank you so much once again. Shubhodayam from different parts of the world. Hello again from Ukraine. Wonderful. Jhatiti aham dve pustake kritavati bhavataha. Post anantaram. Uttamam boho dhanyavadaha. Um, all right. If there are no other questions, you wanted to do Vyasa Katha also, Mahadev? I want. Uh, if one. we have the time? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we have like it's 11:32. We can finish this. So if you have any questions, guys, this is the time. We are winding up in a couple of minutes. So Mahadev also has uh, ten other books, uh, ten books in total apart from Ramaraksha Subodhini. So ten, including Ramaraksha Subodhini. Eleventh, I'm writing right now. All right. It is a uh, Shiva Tandala Talika. Talika. I am excited for it. <laughs> <laughs> we will. We wanted to do a small rendition, a chant. We will do this later and we will post it as a separate video maybe on my channel or on uh, sure. this channel. Please make sure that you follow uh, both of us on uh, social media accounts, on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. I am not very active on Twitter myself but I have seen you taking a lot of posts from Twitter. Yes. I keep tagging you there. So thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much Maudia for being on thank our you. channel. Thank Come you. On. Namaste. Namaskar. Namo Allah.